In this video, I want to go over the most competitive settings for the final season 2, and some other tweaks to help with input delay. These are the settings and tweaks I do to my own PC, and hopefully it helps you guys as well. I'm gonna start with the settings in game, and the first you need to do is go to gameplay, and the most important part in gameplay is making sure that use enemy team colors is on. This is going to make it so whenever you're fighting, for example, an orange team, the enemy outlines are going to be orange. So this is really important so you can see what teams you're actually fighting and who's alive. These are my crosser settings. You can just copy them if you like this crosser. And controller, I don't touch controller, so I have no idea what's good and what's bad. So you guys can just figure that out if you play controller. Mouse and keyboard. Uh, mouse look sensitivity. I have this on 16 and I'm running 1600 dpi, which is around 35 centimeters per 360. I keep mouse zoom sensitivity multiplier at 100% and with mouse focal length sensitivity scaling on off. This is gonna make it so whenever you ADS, it's the same sensitivity as hipfire and I use scope sensitivity on 23. It's like I feel like this is good for snipers. But this is just my personal settings and what I use. If you're looking for tips in terms of like sensitivity, I would look for a sense that's between 32 centimeters to 42 centimeters per 360 it's like a good uh, range of sensitivities these are my settings i use jump on scroll wheel so i can bunny hop easily this is like just something i'm used to from apex other than that everything else is the same uh, i unbound toggle slide to just hold i feel like that's just better in my opinion and then everything is the same mostly accessibility i haven't really done much i've turned off subtitles um it's kind of distracting and you don't want distracting stuff on your screen uh, motion blur you just turn this off it's also distracting you don't need this it's kind of unnecessary uh, with audio i turn music off because music is really loud in this game and it can be distracting for certain people like me and if you just like the in-game music you just keep it on it's personal preference so i want to talk about video settings now uh, you can use native resolution if you want to but i personally like 1440 by 1080 which is a stretched resolution this is just something that i like using and i'm used to it from other games so it's personal preference uh when it comes to vsync you want to keep this disabled uh, if you want lower input delay you keep this disabled this increases your input delay and it's just not good reflex lower latency you keep this on do not have it on on plus boost because this is gonna make it so you have less frames so keep it on on only you can keep it on off as well but i personally feel the difference on on so just keep it on, on. frame limit just put it at an odd max or you can put it at 240 or like your monitor refresh rate but i keep it on unlimited because i have it capped in another software resolution scaling method you always want to use tau for the lowest amount of input latency and you, you want the scaling to be at 100 percent or like 90 or 80 it depends on your system but you always want to keep it at a tau because it has the best input latency and uh, it's just the best overall field of view you always want this on max i don't know why you would put it, put it lower but always keep those on max motion blur and lens distortion you always want to keep this disabled it's just unnecessary things on your screen and the rest you just put to low and static this is also to help with input latency another thing i want to say is that this game is very cpu dependent so if you have a bad cpu but a good gpu you're most likely gonna have lower frames compared to someone with a good cpu and a bad gpu so what we're gonna do now is basically remove the mouse smoothing that is enabled in this game and this command is gonna basically remove it so what we're gonna do is go in the search bar and type percentage local app data percentage and then we're gonna have this file you're gonna go to discovery open that go to saved go to config windows client and then you find this file you open this with notepad and you're basically just gonna paste what it, what's in the description and just paste it in and it's gonna disable the mouse smoothing that is active in game so this might help with some consistency issues so you're just gonna scroll down and just paste it uh, at the bottom and then save now i want to go over my nvidia control panel and these are the settings that I use. Uh, if you want your settings to work everywhere, you go to global. If you want it to only work for the finals, you gotta go to program and select the finals. Or if it's not here, you just add it from this. So first of all, Im image scaling off, Im ambient occlusion off. Uh, this you put it to application controlled. You just put it off, off. Nothing here really matters other than a low latency mode. You put this in ultra, this is very important. Max frame rate, you don't really care about that, just keep it off, it's basically, basically like a VSync monitor technology, you put it to either ULMB or fixed refresh, 
G-Sync actually makes it so you have higher input delay. So you should not use G-Sync if you're playing the finals at a high frame rate. But if you have like a 60 hertz, I would just go with G-Sync. But you have if you have a high hertz monitor, you just put it to ULMB. You go to rendering GPU, you put it to your GPU. And then you go to power management mode, you go maximum performance. Highest refresh rate, you put it to highest. Uh, shader cache, you put it to 10 gigabytes. Then you put texture filtering to on, allow, high performance. You kind of just copy what I have. I'm gonna pop, put up a picture so you can just copy everything. If you go to adjust desktop color settings, I have my digital vibrance at 70%. This is gonna make the game look a bit more vibrant and it's just what I use. The next thing you're gonna do is go to adjust desktop size and position. What you're gonna do here now is basically go and make it scaling full screen and then put it on display. This is also going to help you lower input latency. And right now I have something else uh, that, that I'm going to talk about that's going to help you as well if you play stretched. Another thing you also can do is if you go to adjust video color settings, you can go to use NVIDIA settings and go to advanced. Then you change the dynamic range to full. This is going to make basically use more colors. So your monitor is going to look a bit more vibrant as well. And just apply that. Next up is getting intelligent standby list cleaner. I have a link in the description where you can look at video and it tells you how to set it up this basically clears your memory and gives you better input delay so you should just use this and it should run in the background so just click the link in the description so you can follow that guide and the last and final step of this guide is using custom resolution utility this is for those that uses stretch resolution and there's a guide in the description where you can basically do everything so just follow the guide and you will be set. And this is majorly going to help you when it comes to stretch resolution uh, in terms of input delay. So just watch the guide and that's about it. If you found this video helpful, please leave a like and a subscription. That would help the channel out massively. And if you're intrigued from the gameplay, you can always go check out my Twitch. I'm live every single day on twitch.tv slash So I hope to see you there. Bye bye.